This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So now let's say we need to add some new storage to our cluster. So we're going to add a new clustered shared volume. Basically, we're going to create it, create a LUN on our SAN, present it to both nodes, and then on those nodes, create a clustered shared volume. So I'm on my iSCSI SAN, and of course this will be a bit different depending on what type of SAN you have or what type of storage you're using. Let's go to File and Storage Services, iSCSI, and let's go up to Tasks, New iSCSI Virtual Disk. Now I'm going to create this on my E drive. Click Next. Let's give it a name. I'll call it iSCSI03. Click Next size I'll make it let's say 60 gigs in size I'm gonna make it dynamically expanding just because this is a test environment normally in a production environment you would make it fixed size click next we're gonna use the same target name because it already includes PHX Hyper-V 01 and 02 so let's click next and create now let's go over to one of our nodes PHX Hyper-V 01 and we can go to Tools. I'm on PHX Hyper-V01. Let's go to our iSCSI Initiator, Volumes and Devices. We can click on Auto Configure. So we can see our three volumes here. Let's go ahead and open up Disk Management. And I'll just scroll down. We should see our new volume. There it is. So we can right click on it, bring it online, right click on it, initialize it. I'm going to initialize it as GPT. Click OK. And then we can right click on it, create a new simple volume, click Next. I'll use the full amount, click Next. Now I'll just assign it the next available drive letter. We're not going to use that drive letter because we're going to turn it into a clustered shared volume, but I'll go ahead and click Next. For a file system, Normally we'd probably do NTFS, but this time let's go ahead and do REFS. And for a volume label, I'll just call this one LUN2, because I know this is LUN2 on my SAN. Let's go ahead and click Next and Finish. Great, that's created. Now let's go ahead and take this offline. I'm just going to right-click, take it offline. Let's go over to our another, other node, PHX Hyper-V02. Okay, I'm on PHX Hyper-V02, same thing. Uh, we may or may not need to go into our iSCSI initiator. Most likely, uh, we probably won't, but just in case, we'll go ahead and do auto configure. Let's go into disk management. We really just need to make need to make sure it sees the drive or the new LUN. Let me just scroll down a bit, and there it is. So it's offline. That's fine. As long as it can see it, then we're in good shape. Now let's open up Failover Cluster Manager. Let's go to Tools. Failover Cluster Manager, and I'll just expand this out, expand out storage, let's click on Add Disk, there it is, Cluster Disk 3, we can see it's 60 gigs in size, let's go ahead and add it, there it is, we can see it's marked as Available Storage, so I'm just going to right click on it and Add to Clustered Shared Volumes. And that's it. So pretty simple. Now if we open up Explorer here, go to our C drive, Cluster Storage, we can see now we have Volume 1 and Volume 2. So Volume 2 is our new clustered shared storage. We can begin adding virtual machines to it, and it's ready for use.